Good afternoon, New London, and welcome back to Season 3 of Tiger Television. The staff has a lot of new things planned for this season, and I hope you're just as excited as we are. I'm Ella Francis. And I'm Catherine McAllister. To start off Season 3 of KTTV, we have a look at the band performance at Old Threshers, the fun summer 4-H groups had, and finally a look back at the 2015 softball season, all coming to you right after this. Friday, September 4th, the middle, school, middle and high school band members gathered their instruments and headed to Old Thrashers to play in front of the grandstand. I was able to talk to some of the band members and on how their performance went. On Friday, September 4th, the New London Marching Band performed at Old Thrashers for the 37th consecutive year. The New London Marching Band has performed before the Cavalcade of Power Parade at Old Threshers since 1979. So that would be 37 years, I believe. And my favorite part of performing at Old Threshers is just the preparation that it takes. Uh, come back to school and in a week and a half be ready to play and march. Standing at 90 plus degrees, the New London Marching Band was very thankful for the music boosters who provided free ice cream. Sounds like New London Marching Band had another successful year at Old Thrashers. Can't wait to see what they come up with next year. Great job, band members. Hey Ella, aren't you in band? Yeah, I'm the drum major. That must be fun. It is. To the fifth graders who are considering joining band, this is one of the many performances you could participate in in the future. Over the summer, 4-H groups did a lot of fun and interesting projects. I was able to catch up with 4-H participants and talk to them about all the fun they had. This is Catherine McAllister and Ella Francis reporting for KTTV at the 2015 Henry County Fair. The fair started July 14th and ended July 18th and included activities like cattle shows, project judging, and the fair queen contest. The fair is an opportunity for kids to show livestock or their skills by making projects. We interviewed some people for their inside look on the fair. My name is Sophie Lounsbury and I'm in the New Lennon Lassies. The best part of fair, I think, is hanging out with all your friends and being able to do stuff with them. I'm Summer Miller and the hardest part about competing was just going on stage and answering a question but it was a lot of fun and I'm glad I did it. I enjoy 4-H because I get to come to fair and you get to be a part of something special. I'm Madison Pullis, I'm from the Henry County Extension Office and my favorite part about fair is the exhibit judging day. And now, your 2015 Henry County Fair Queen is Grace Edwards. Catherine McAllister and Ella Francis reporting for KTTV. It was great to see everyone having such a great time. Bef between the fair projects and the queen contest, there was so much to see. The softball girls worked hard over the summer to have a great season, and luckily their hard work paid off. After numerous games winning, the softball girls made it to state. Ashley Smith got the inside scoop. This is Ashley Smythe for Tiger Television, here to tell you all about the exciting high school softball season from this summer. Our girls were ranked second in the state throughout the season and only lost two games during the regular season. Going into the regional final game, they knew the competition was stiff and played a tough game. During this game, there were only three hits. Victoria Knoll and Emily Parks got it rolling. I think 
think our team unity really made us successful because we acted more as a family than we did a team. Georgie Krieger was up to bat in the bottom of the seventh with two outs, and with Emily on base, Georgie hit the home run that sent the team to state. To, to persevere in the regional final game and to come out um, with a 2-1 win when we're down 1-0 in the bottom of the seventh, that's, that's pretty memorable. For them to be such a great group and close-knit, that's what I'm proud of, to be, to be part of such a great season where, where my, my team is, is so um, supportive of each other and nobody cares who is getting the credit, and really that's what makes me the proudest. Winning the regional final was probably like like one of the... Something you see in a movie. But it was like became reality. It was like one of those fantasy things. Fairy tales. In the next couple seasons, I'm looking forward to... Winning. Winning more games. Going to state again. Just being with the team. Yeah. It's always a fun time. I believe our strongest moment this season, I mean, being at the state tournament and, and winning a couple games up there and finishing third place, obviously, is a high point. Congrats, ladies, on a terrific season. This has been Ashley Smythe reporting for KTTV. Great job, softball girls. Now time to look at, the week, at this week's events. Tonight, our football boys take on Pekin with the game starting at 7. On Saturday, there will be a volleyball tournament at Keokuk starting at 9. On Monday, JV football versus Pekin here starting at 6, middle school volleyball versus West Burlington here starting at 4.30, and a varsity volleyball tournament at Holy Trinity starting at 4. Tuesday, there will be a middle school and high school cross-country meet in Mount Pleasant starting at 4.45. Thursday, middle school football at Highland starting at 5, and a middle school and high school cross-country meet at the Burlington Rexplex starting at 4. We'll see you next time on Tiger, Tiger Television. Television.